We are heading in, and we are heading up to the fifth floor. Top floor for a high and beautiful view. It's a pet friendly level. Ooh. Oh my God, we're on the concierge level. Oh dear. Five one four. Oh. Um, so Look at the carpets, guys. How soft and squishy and pretty. And oh, here's our room. Let's go look. Welcome. We are in a Disney room. Oh, luxury. We've got a view of the storm along bay. Look at this beautiful carpet. And this is just a garden view. Oh, that's kind of neat looking. Got people with a little garden view. And I'm going to head over to the elevator area just so you can see what's around. So this is themed to sort of New England theming. So you've got your, your ships and the carpet. Sorry for that. And over here would have been the concierge level if they were doing that right now. I haven't actually looked through all the stuff for the hotel. Oh, ice is this way. And more rooms. So that's more rooms. Family restroom outside, and yeah, here is where it was. No concierge level. Dude, that was COVID. Oh, this is cool. Not anyone? Not, not. Fun stuff. Just looking at you. Good evening, sir. You're, You're looking very elegant. I think I am, sir. Would you like to go to dinner? Oh, thank you. Well, wonderful. It is very humid. My eyes are fogging. Well, my glasses, which are my eyes tonight. I'm surprised the camera has not started fogging. That's normally what happens. Storm along Bay is right out here. We'll be hitting that tomorrow morning. And when we come back, please remind me, I want to see if we can do late checkout. So we can do maybe a little more time there or wait and at 11 go back to the room. You know what I mean? I didn't know that was possible. Across the way there, flying fish is lit up but closed. Bastards, I love that. Oh, Jim's going to take pictures while we walk. You're at the boardwalk. That's the other hotel one day I would love to stay at. But I like the colors of the rooms we're in. You're winning. You're winning by a lot. <laughs> this is very pretty. I would have preferred this water view, but even the pool is kind of cool looking. What is that across the way there? That's the Boardwalk Hotel. Yeah, that's the other one I want to stay. See, you, you see the main building lit up. Very, very top lit up boardwalk. And I think the dolphin is here. Yeah, I see the... I want to show you the video of the guy we had on the boat ride that took you from Epcot to Hollywood Studios. He was brilliant. He was in Fairleigh Dickinson University college program and starts telling us... Now you see the swan. And why is the swan called the swan? Because the swan has a swan on it. Of course that makes sense. So why would the, then the dolphin would have a picture of a dolphin? Because then it would be the dolphin. So why do we have a fish? And he basically explains that it, the dolphin, that the uh, the uh, mahi mahi is called the dolphin fish. So that is a mahi mahi. So it is a dolphin.
So by accident, I came in the exit. But here we are. Here's the menu. Here we are at the lovely, lovely Blue Zoo, dressed in our evening best. We did not let ha Larry bring the hat he wanted to take. We did not let Larry take the hat he wanted to take. Thank you. And I'm also dressed. So we are enjoying a lovely meal. We have just ordered our food. We have each ordered different cocktails. We have each ordered different entrees. We've gotten multiple little sides to share with the table. We're, we're here for a beautiful, beautiful evening and a beautiful, beautiful meal. This is our last evening on this trip. So we're going to make this a special experience. They've got their bread bowl. I will watch them. Ooh. Ooh. The gluten-free person's plate. <laughs> so, what kind of butter is this? Spice, something. Spicy or herby? Spice, more herby. Okay. But um. How is the lavosh? I don't know what this is, but it's yummy. It's a lavosh. Okay. Ferma okay. lavosh, ferma lavosh. Make easy to say. Not really. I had to work on it. <laughs> Do you like your bread? Mm -hmm. uh, and what, what does the buttery stuff taste like to you? Uh, Can you pick the spices out or the herbs? Chervil comes to mind. Okay, chervil. So like oniony. Uh, maybe not. Isn't fennel. chervil onion bee? Fennel. fennel. Oh, like almost licorice that kind very, of. Very light, okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Ooh, who got the smoky drink? I did? I got the best drink ever and I didn't even know. I'm so glad I already had the camera going. This is awesome. You just want to stir it and don't drink it till soft mother. Oh. You gotta wait now. I'm waiting for him to stop filming it so I can stir it. Okay. Then we're gonna stir my drink. This is the zoo. No, this yeah, this This is the sangria this is the sangria. The sangria smokes? They use they use dry ice instead of regular ice so you're not drinking a whole lot of ice in the drink. That's awesome. All right, so you got the one with Aperol. Yeah, and rum. Uh, the Lost Resort, is that what Lost it was? Lost Plain. Lost Plain, okay, so what would you, what do you think of your drink? <laughs> what do you think? What's, what's the taste, what's the stuff? Okay. Oh, it's really nice. Okay. okay, cool. All right, you just had a sip of your new old fashioned. New fashioned. Oh, new fashioned. And I'm actually going to ask him. Okay. If the bourbon is Hudson. Okay. Hudson Valley Distillery. Okay. Because well, you recognize it, it, it the might, flavor? I recognize some of the flavor. Okay. It is a good single batch. And. It might be a half court shot. I might not get it, but I'm gonna guess. Hudson Valley. Okay, we're, we're gonna. We've got it on record. All right, let's get your opinion on the zoo berry. That's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. 
It's almost too pretty to drink. Yeah, drink it because my arm's getting tired. <laughs> It's sweet and tart. It's that sweet tart. Right, with lemon, fresh lemon juice. Very little taste of alcohol at all. Okay. Which could mean it's dangerous. Yeah, it probably is. Because it's very sweet, but it's also got the tart. And it goes down way, way easy. I would, I would like to try everyone's drinks at some point, too. Cool. It's yummy. All right. Mine, I think, has stopped smoking. Very sweet. All right, guys, so it's time. For, I guess they gave me the straw to drink mine. Now we're gonna try drinks. So first is the white wine sangria. Which is very heavy on the peach schnapps. It's nice. I'm not really fond of like strawberry and stuff, but it's really good. Would you like to try it? And I'll try yours now. Actually, yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. That's really interesting. It's not like super heavy in different flavors, but it's nice. Uh huh. All right, so this is the new old fashioned, and you know I like my Manhattan and my old fashions. I tend to like them on the sweet side, so we're gonna see. It is good. Personally, I like my old fashions to be a little, a little more on the sweet side, like a little more of whatever they're gonna put in to make it sweet. And this is the Blue Zoo, the lemon blueberry vodka mm. thing. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, you're right. You do not taste the booze in that. That is very dangerous. That goes that's All right, so that was drinks. One. Chin chin salud. Okay, so this is the scallop with short rib. No, I'm the only person. Yeah, really? really yeah. And your thoughts? The combination works wonderfully. Okay. The meat is tender. The scallops are buttery. Nice. They are not overcooked. There isn't a hint of rubber. It feels like a meringue. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Wow, that sounds nice. And that's just the feel. Right, right. The taste, there isn't any salt, any brine. Nice, real thing. Yay. Happy dancing in your seat. That's the good sign. Good sir, good everything. Yay. Okay, so now I'm trying the scallop because it is gluten free. So for you gluten free loving people, scallop with short rib. Oh my god, the um It is cooked so lightly. It's almost like if you could make a scallop medium, you could make that medium. Um, it's just, it's like not hard cooked. It's still soft. There's no chew. Um, the salt is mild. He's right. It's just, it's very soft. You still get that buttery texture. I barely chewed. It's mushed. In a good way. That's lovely. That is very lovely. That, and I usually end up with getting scallop dishes because I can't do crustaceans and I can't do gluten, so they, there's always some limiting. I just realized that my eyes are picking up the candle from the table. Ooh, I'm blue zoo now. You look up my nose. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry, I used to do that a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna turn you off. I didn't mean to turn you off. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Not a family friendly vlog. Just, if you haven't figured it out yet. Disney for adults. Favorite part of the day today. Oh, hard choice. So many fun things. Wow. <laughs> what, was there a ride or an experience or a person or? Yeah, probably the, the which mountain is that called? The Splash Mountain? Yeah. Splash Mountain, the waterfall one. Yeah, yeah that's a long ride. It really is. It's a big experience. Yeah, and water and non-water. <laughs> My, my favorite thing about that, well, my least favorite thing sh is if you do get really, really wet, you then get to sit in the really, really wet for like another three or four minutes as you go through the big zippity doo dah scene at the end. Uh -huh. So you're wet and going, oh my God, I can't believe I'm wet. I can't see out of my eyes. My eye makeup is blending into my face and oh look, this is great, another scene. <laughs> we were in the very back, so we just got a little sprinkles. He was saying, which is just that little bit of to cool yeah, you off. Just enough. Yeah. All right, my dear. Favorite part of the day. 
Well, I love the fact that you talked me into getting the disabled thing because that just is amazing. And finding the popcorn buckets that I was looking for. <laughs> and the sipper. And the sipper. Awesome. The whole day was great. Fabulous. Favorite part so far, sir? Hmm. Well, there isn't really a favorite. I would say so far, the favorite part of my day has been the food. Yeah. Between lunch and here. Yeah. Today is a day of roller coasters for us. Yeah. And in analysis, not for me. <laughs> the shortest ride was Space Mountain with the highest G force. Yeah. The longest ride. Sorry, sorry. Was the uh, Flash Mountain. Mountain? No, the Big Thunder. Big Thunder. Okay. Was the longest, and it kept going, and I thought, okay, it's over. No, it's not over. It's more, more, more. And there was something nostalgic about the uh, something nostalgic about the the long swim. The, the Flash Mountain. Mountain. Gonna go away. Right. Um, I did notice how everyone seemed to toss the six foot distancing out the window today. I don't know if it's crowded. It was too crowded. Weekend, yeah. Locals. Kingdom, or what? But that was quite noticeable compared to the other ones. Yeah, very much. So. That's the sound of my water glass being filled because I'm a good girl and I drank my water. Okay, so. My favorite part, okay, it's strictly my ego, I will admit it freely. My favorite part of the day is when I got stopped outside Cinderella's Royal Table with, by the staff, who were so excited about my outfit. And when I told them they, that I should, they said, wow, that's so cool, you should wear that at a Renaissance Festival. I went, as a matter of fact, I work at Renaissance Festival. So we had a long conversation about what it was and what I do, etc. And I said, all right, because you guys work here, this is the only reason I'm doing this. And I introduced them to Mustard Seed in full character and full voice. And they were like, oh my god, that's the best! I'm like, I'm not going to do it to anybody who's coming into this park. I'm not the entertainer here. I'm not being paid for that. But I will do this for you because you guys are the working people here. And they just, they absolutely love it. They're like, Princess, you come back to our house. You come back. The other part that was my favorite, and I don't have it on video, was when I talked to the two stepsisters. That was so cool. Because normally they're on the back of the castle, if you've seen any of the other vloggers. And it's um, uh, Griselda and Drusella. Uh, Griselda? Yeah, Griselda and Drusella. And they're, they're, they were just so much fun, and they were, you know, so, so how do we get the magic from you? Because I look like a fairy. I said, sure, I got magic. And they were like, what is this so easy? So, so I said, can, uh, you know, how do we, how do we, uh, do, will your magic work? I said, well, if you stay on my good side. What's, you, oh, really? How do we stay on your good side? You're so pretty. I know on your good side, right? She didn't say it fast enough. So they're fighting with each other. <laughs> and I, she was like, well, how do we get on, uh, where is your good, uh, it was one of those, like, where's your good side? I was waiting for them to say, I went, it's in Cleveland. <laughs> and they're like, are there princes in Cleveland? <laughs> Well, not really. No, not really. Not. Sure. But 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 I, I I can go to my people and ask my people for your people. <laughs> but I can see what I can get for you. And they're like, so we can tell you, we can tell mother that you're gonna help us find a prince. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were like, so that was their ex the time they were done with their shift. They're like, oh mother, mother, and that's how they ran off. That was how they ended their day. Cool. Oh my God, that was so much fun. It was just it was like Ren Fair light for me. It's it's the me just kind of being silly and and playing. Um, you know, I mean, it was very funny as we're leaving for Pop Century, leaving Pop Century, going to Yacht Club in the morning, and we're walking with our suitcases out to the car, and I said, I, I'm in costume, I don't care, I don't think about it, and suddenly I see this. Like, I don't know if they knew that you could wear costumes to Magic Kingdom, or if they didn't know, or whatever, but it was just like, was like 15 different separate heads kept turning as we were walking the line, it was funny. Um, I like I I was I was fascinated to see how we did all of the disability stuff, the boarding from the back of the lines, uh, you know, with, with the service dog, etc. Uh, how we, I, you know, usually when I'm on the ride, I'm on the ride when it stops. Oh, and I have to say, I am very proud of this man. Very first time on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, and he scored over 700,000 points. Now, I was telling him where all the cool targets are, but he was the one catching them, because I was aiming at him too, and he kept getting them. I only ended up with about 
200 or 300,000, which is very low for me. Um, I have gotten Galactic Hero, but that's usually when someone who has a disability slows the line down and you get stuck right in front of a target and you can just keep holding it down and you just, I, there, there was a couple times where someone had must have had the, st the ride stop and we were right at the volcanoes in the first room and if you hit the top target on the volcano it's a hundred thousand points each time uh -huh. so if you aim at that and you get stopped don't 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 you, in the first room you're done you've maxed out your score and if you go by yourself you just slide to the other gun and start shooting again <laughs> and you can keep playing but yeah uh so i i don't know how the video came out i did talk about the targets i know and i was telling him i don't know if you saw a darn thing um you were you were on the joby you're on right now on my in like Joby was in my lap, so you were up about here, but I don't know if you saw anything. But uh, we will talk targets. I will teach them targets because they're local and they can come back and see them later. I'll be your huckleberry. True. True. Why did you spurn me? I'm sorry, it has to be said. Um, all right, so we are uh, we are kind of midway in appetizers and uh, oh, poor, she's done her drink already. Poor thing. It broke. Her glass is broken. There's no more alcohol in it. I finished mine a while ago. I'm sorry, and I haven't finished mine yet. I've been taking my There's time. There's a hole in my glass. There is. A hole right there. Yeah. And, it, and, it and all the alcohol came out of it. And it went away. Yeah, it did. And, and, and your magic make it better. <laughs> I washed the magic off me. I'm sorry. So, yeah, so they're done. He's, he's, he's taking his time. I'm, I'm halfway there. It, it, it's so hot out, you know, like I said, it was like 90 something felt like 100 something. So you're dehydrated. Uh, so I am right now lots and lots and lots and lots of water so I don't have a headache tomorrow. And as I said that, everyone picked up their water glasses to drink. I'm on my second glass, look at how much I have. I know, I'm starting my second glass now too. Salud. We're heavy drinkers of water. 120, made especially for the hotel. It's so, actually burled and actually signed, and the bottle actually says for actually blue zoo, specifically for this one adult. So, so while Jeff, uh, while Jeff was technically wrong when he suggested the bourbon he thought it was, our waiter did say that yeah, that's that makes perfect sense given the flavor palette, etc. So he is fantastic. Fantastic. fantastic, and now it's gone. <laughs> you broke your glass. How did that happen? All right, so he sniffed. Oops. Not a tent. Well, oh, no. Here are the legs. No, no, okay. legs. no legs. That is smooth. There's not a line on it. Oh. Okay. You think that's a good thing? thing? Depends if you like panda. That's the bitter part. Oh. Smooth. Light. Like creamy? Fruity. Very creamy, and no bitterness. Okay. Uh, not a lot of oak, more fruit than oak. That's good. Um, instead, it was a blend. There yeah. seems to be very little cab in it. There was petite verdot, and a steak knife. May I steal a steak knife? Alright, we're going to try it. Maybe it wasn't even every year. But every now and then, it's got a good fruit smell. But you know, that's a smart idea. It actually is a little bit oaky because oak burns my tongue and that actually physically hurts my tongue a little bit. Um, I don't taste any oak. It, it might, it's, it's probably still aged in it, but it's not picking it up, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, but it's got a burn to it, which is just a sign to me that it's more heavily oaky. Um, it's lightly fruity. I would not call it extremely fruit forward. It's not going to be no, no, like. No, no, but I asked for a cab. I oh, okay. A Merlot. I hate Cabernet Sauvignon just for that. But that's like one that out was of my fault. Wine. So I'm mm -hmm. not getting that one. That's like one out of five wines in there. Right. I, yeah, there was Petit Verdot, Cabernet Franc, I right. think Sauvignon, and there were two. Um, was there Merlot in there? There was two others. He said it, I don't know. Okay. I just took his recommendation. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a perfect wine for him. It is not a perfect wine for me, so I will have to find something else to drink. What am I going to do? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, and if I haven't done so already, please remember, if you have not done so already, to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can click that little bell notification thing on the side. That will let you know when we're posting new content because we got a whole other day of this, which is at least one video, maybe two. It might include bathing suits.
I'm not sure if that's going to make you want to watch or not want to watch, but there's something in there. Um, uh, comment, let's see, comment to me if you've ever been to Disney, what was your favorite restaurant that you ever ate at here? That's what I want to find out from you. Favorite restaurant that you've ever eaten at at Disney in the comments below. First impressions. Excellent. Okay. Really good. Very light, very. So what did he end up giving you as your vegetable plate? It's uh, all standard vegetables, no, no unusual vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot. Um, and he roasted them, I think he said, right? But yeah, roasted, you know, the light curry sauce, really good sweet rice, short grain rice. Excellent. Very yummy. Okay. My dear, what do you think? Excellent. Um, the vegetables are not overcooked. Okay. And they're not undercooked. Excellent. The, um, the sauce is really, really good. Creamy and savory. Okay. Sweet. Yep. And I haven't tasted the pasta part yet, but the lobster is also really, really good. Because nice. sometimes lobster, when they do this, right. they get the chewy, right. not chewy. Excellent. And you, sir, I'm just hoping you've had some of yours, it looks like. And I would say, I had two steaks today. And it was hard to beat the steak that we had at lunch. But this beats the steak we had at lunch. Michael K., if you were out and watching, you want the best steak on property. He's just told you. You thought it was going to be over Jungle Skipper Canteen. He's just told you. Just saying. Not that you watch my vlog. Not that you have any clue who I am. But I'm calling you out. <laughs> okay. Hey, being gluten free. They're taking pictures, and if the picture Jeff takes it comes out really well, it's going in right here. Okay. Um, I will say my halibut feels a little bit dry to me, but I'm not positive how halibut should be. It is a white flaky fish, but it's a little more like a swordfish finish to me, rather than like a, a softer white fish. The butternut squash underneath is amazing. The bee puree is good. But every time I see a flake off of the white fish, I keep thinking that it's goat cheese, and it's not. It's fish. Um, but the, the asparagus with the blood orange hollandaise, very, 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 very nice. So that's where we are now. This is a coconut sorbet, vanilla ice cream with a little bit of shaved chocolate. This is a champagne sorbet with a little bit of lemon meringue. Oh, you are. Okay, and what are you guys eating? <laughs> That's all you. That's your birthday. That stuff. is Happy birthday. so awesome. So you said coconut sorbet, vanilla ice cream, champagne, champagne sorbet. Yeah. Please enjoy. Oh, I will. Should I bring any more spoons, or are you keeping those to yourself? I will be nice and <laughs> share. <laughs> So you, so you guys just heard the description. So now we're going to try them and then I will let other people try them. I'm taking the outside spoon because you're supposed to work outside in. Even though they're all spoons for everybody right now. Alright, so the first is the coconut sorbet with almonds, he said, I think. You guys heard it on the video. Yeah. Or is it co or maybe coconut shrimp? Jeez. I'm like, taking the H. <laughs> Get the H out of here. Okay. Did you touch it before I did? Just the age. Oh. <laughs> it says age. happy birthday now. That's right. That's right. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday Liza. Liza. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Liza. That's a nice one. <laughs> what is that? What is that? that oh. Hello. Oh, don't go that way. No, don't ever go that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll lead you straight to the castle. <laughs> Name that movie. Legend. Nope. Begins with an L. Vanilla ice cream is good. I, I have to my palate up to the vanilla. All right, last one, meringues with champagne. I still have chocolate in my mouth. I'm trying to get it out. Hold on. All right, here we go. That's like drinking champagne in frozen form. <laughs> okay, y'all can have the vanilla ice cream with the chocolate. And I will let you taste the others. <laughs> no, actually, I mean, anyone who wants the vanilla ice cream, I'll help yourself on that. But I do want to keep eating some of the other two, and you all can have some. Because I want my happy birthday back. You gonna lick the plate? Why wouldn't she? Now it's happy birthday with the strikeout. <laughs> 
It is a good dark chocolate. Oh, this is lovely. It's literally like champagne. The vanilla ice cream does nothing for me comparatively. The other two are exceptional. I think I like the coconut bit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, good for that. Yeah. Really. The champagne with when you get the meringue with the champagne though, it's like a moscato. Mm. So here's my second drink. Did anyone else want more of the champagne? So I'm going to cook it up because this is this is tremendous. Happy birthday to This has been an exceptional meal. Absolutely. Absolutely lovely. My dessert is done and that was a perfect amount for all three of us of a little something sweet. Yep. And a celebration. And yet you can tell I put the jacket and then my little sweater on because it was a little chilly in here. Um, but perfect. They're pretty much closing down for the night but that's where they make the love us. Wow, I can feel the heat from here. They got the, the mollusks, they got the grill, they got a fire oven. It's really cool. Oh, we're gonna wait for this nice man to walk by with his drink first. We got the pretty bar. It really is lovely. It is really lovely. So ladies and gentlemen, this was where I was originally going to be staying. This fountain is gorgeous. It's a big seashell with two mahi-mahi. It makes a fabulous breeze. So it pours off the top and the other fountain part, this assembly. So it doesn't actually hit the bottom. Oh, so it doesn't splash up so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it splashes some, but not bad. Yeah, see? This is gorgeous. I have never been down here. I love this walkway. So this is the walkway between the swan and dolphin. Sorry. No, you're fine. Oh. There's some pop music playing. Now when they do their sips of flavors, taste, and wine, I believe all of that happens here. And you can see the water pouring in the swan and the up in the swan cup. And we are just about out of battery. Isn't that gorgeous? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been an incredible evening, an incredible dinner. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when the next videos are coming out. I can't wait to show you our last day with you and I hope you're enjoying what you've seen so far. What a beautiful view.
the Ale and Compass Lounge tied to the Ale and Compass. In fact, it is the Ale and Compass Lounge. I'm all about the blue. Pretty much everything closes around 10-ish. So they're settling out and the last drinks have probably been ordered. 10 o'clock is normally standard, I think, for most of the bars here. So that's not all that unusual. It smells nice. So this is about 10 o'clock at night, 10.30. It's very quiet. It's very, very quiet. And a medical theme. Now it's ironic. Isn't that the Mahi Mahi from the dolphin? That's very cool. Unknown land. Wait a minute, California is there. North America or Mexico. Oh, it's using old first with the E. Interesting. Buttons Bay and the Hudson Bay. New England, Central Florida. So there's, there's Mickey. Florida, Virginia, Plymouth, Nova Francia? Newfoundland? Is that Francie or Francia? New Britannia? Brazil. Peru. Castilla de Oro. I'm probably saying a lot of these wrong. Panama, Nicaragua. Puerto Rico is going to be There's a top that most people can't see. I will look at this afterwards to find out what it's like. Western Ocean. We like the sea serpent. That's always the best part. Mozambique, Madagascar. I think that's the Sahara. Egypt, A-E. Now, A-E in Latin would have been I, so that would have been Egypt. I wonder if that's how they pronounced it. Maybe in an Indian Sea. An Indian Sea. India, is in Gangi. Oops, so. Hers, yeah, that's for you, Bonnie. Russia. Canada. That's North America. So for all my seafaring folk, it's a tall ship and a star to sail her by. It's really beautiful detail work in this. Luckily, there's no music, so we can just kind of enjoy this. Now, if you're watching this and you've got questions about the Yacht Club or what the experience is like here, I remember before I could think to myself, oh, I don't want to stay at the Yacht Club. It's like, it's going to be like, I don't know. I want to go to the Beach Club. I, want, I don't know why I was thinking that. It is beautiful here, and I love, I'm a blue fan of blue. So I'm really loving this. I mean, look at these chairs. I'd be afraid to lean back, but beautiful. Theming, theming, theming. Disney, your theming is amazing. Just beautiful. I did not get good video of the room, and I am sorry. Oh, I forgot you have right. I believe Kyle Powell stayed here with his dad. And well, I will probably not touch it right now. Again, this is just a few steps up from the lobby. But you have your own little wheel. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Ta da! A cove area to sit and again, kind of concierge. Hello, bird. Okay. 
and down the pretty stairs. Oh, and then actually at the elevators, the market at the Ellen Compass, and they are now directing you around the corner, just so you can see it. And it smells like baking waffles right here. The last minute suitcases, the shirts, the stuff like that. Some nice basic Disney stuff. hand sanitizer. Well, I touched that, and I'm going to touch it. i do it from here. That. Always leave your mask on. It is not a suggestion. It is a requirement. And here we come. And here's our room. Yay. And, uh, um, I, um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?